University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital helps thousands of kids every year get through tough medical problems. And a Minnesota Vikings player is doing his part to make their stay a little more fun. Kyle Rudolph's end zone is going to be a spot for kids and teenagers to relax, maybe play video games, work on healing. The design has places for art and music studios, and we're so glad to have Kyle Rudolph with us along with Nick M. Bloom from the University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Kyle, why don't you tell us how you got involved with the Children's Hospital? I know you made many visits there over last season. Uh, well, a little background about me and my family. Uh, my brother was born with neuroblastoma, mm. uh, so a cancerous tumor was removed as an infant. And so my family spent a lot of time in the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. So, you know, when we got up here and we were introduced to Nick and everyone over at the Masonic Children's Hospital, we, we fell in love with what they do and what they offer to families and kids who, you know, go into these situations that are really tough. And so we got involved right away and have done a lot of the hospital visits and uh, we felt after you know being here in the community for five years and you know this is our home now Minneapolis is where we live uh, we wanted to do something special I know that you're very connected to a lot of the families there and Nick this must be such a great thing for the hospital too because spaces like this as you know when you go into the hospital as I know I've been in a few times they're so important it is and everyone has a different space that that kind of makes them feel like they're home away from home and you know, whether it's a music studio, a lounge, but what Kyle's bringing to them is an area, not just that brings music and entertainment, but it's gonna provide healing and it's gonna provide integrative therapies. And it takes a strong individual to step forward like Kyle Rudolph is doing to make a difference, not just for kids here in Minnesota, but around the world. Kyle, I, we're looking at some of the pictures of uh, the visits and I, who gets more out of this, you think? The kids <laughs> and their excitement of meeting you or you and meeting them? Well, that's actually funny you say that. You know, I visited a family in, in December mm -hmm. And it was after our Thursday night game, I got back, went in, and spent some time with the family. And they've still continued to send me messages. You know, we can't thank you enough for mm -hmm. coming. It's meant so much to our family. But, you know, my answer back to them is always, you have no idea what it means to us and what we get out of it. And, you know, you go in and see these kids who have every reason to be down, and they never are. They're always so excited and so energetic and, you know, it makes us realize how fortunate we are. And, you know, it kind of changes our outlook on life. And you do have a big draft party coming up, I believe at one of your favorite restaurants. Correct. Four Bells. Yes. You, you frequent that maybe once or twice? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the idea is that uh, you are bringing a bunch of other Vikings players there, and this is a really unique opportunity for people to really watch the draft with some guys who know, know a little bit about football. Yeah, it should be fun. I have a lot of great teammates who also are involved in the Children's Hospital, and you know, guys like Chad Greenway, John Sullivan, mm -hmm. Captain Monerlin, Phil Lodeholt, uh, and many more. So we'll have a good crowd of Vikings down there, and we're looking forward to hanging out with a bunch of fans and watching the draft, and you know, welcoming our newest Viking to the, to the family. Right. Fantastic. Can't wait to see who yeah. uh, who gets picked, and a great opportunity to raise some money. That information again on the screen. Four bells, uh, right on Loring Park. Thursday is the date, 6:30 p.m. Ticket information at wcco.com/links.